Hey guys, welcome back to my second part of um, my declutter series. This part is going to be my foundation part of my declutter series. The first part should already be up and that was primers, powders, and, prim and setting sprays. Um, today is going to be foundations and concealers. Uh, you know the drill, I'm going to lay them out. And then we're going to work with what, um, or see what I'm going to keep, what I'm not. Um, I have my computer next to me with my inventory sheet pulled up so I can, you know, adjust it as I go. Go ahead and get started and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like to clutters, project pans, shop my stashes. I love making those type of videos. Definitely making looks with makeup that I already have. Um, and yeah, just let me know. Um... And just let me know what other videos that you guys like. I really like shopping my stash, like, just for looks in general or, you know, being as creative as possible. And I love doing tag videos, too. So, just subscribe if that interests you. And don't forget to give this video a like. And let's go ahead and start it. First up is going to be this LA Girl Pro Color Mixing Foundation. So I'm, um, you know, wearing um, sunscreen every day. It kind of lines up your complexion. Oh, goodness gracious, kind of dirty. Um, anyways, so this is what I have been using to sometimes, you know, mix in foundations that are a little bit too dark. Um, or mixing other ones that are lighter with my darker ones. And just kind of, I want to keep this. This is not really a foundation. It's just a mixing pigment. And definitely want to keep that. Up, um... Ones that I know I'm going to keep is this one. Oh, I had it upside down. This one from Haley's Beauty. I actually purchased it last year and I haven't had a chance to try it. I'm going to be featuring this one in an upcoming video. Testing some new makeup. Um, or not video, maybe on an Instagram post. I'm not sure. But I'm definitely going to keep that one because that's new. And then my Shop My Sash Foundations. The Anastasia, the Bite. And then my Project Pan, the number seven. These are all foundations that I absolutely love too, except for the Haley's. Haley's is the one that's the newest to me, or the new one that I have not even touched really. I don't think I've even swatched. Um, and then the other ones, you guys have seen me try them. Um, the one that you guys have not seen me try, but you've seen it in a shop, my stash is this Smashbox Halo Healthy Glow All in One Tinted Moisturizer. You guys, I fell in love with this little, it's like a little deluxe sample. It's in the shade light. I absolutely love, love, love this. Of course, I wouldn't purchase it until I get rid of this and maybe another one, but it's still a pretty good size and it, you know, it's light coverage. It's tinted moisturizer, so it's not supposed to build up. It's not meant to be build up. Um, you can, I guess, but I, that defeats the purpose of it being a tinted moisturizer. So I'm going to keep that. Um, all my light coverage items. It's more like a foundation. My BB creams, my serum. This one, the, let's kind of arrange these really quick. Oh, really quick before I get to those. This is my only powder foundation so far, but I love it. This is a pure 4-in-1. I have it in the shade um, Bisque MG3. It looks it looks a little dark deep in the in the pan but it actually works perfectly well i love 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 this powder so good so so good this foundation i'm definitely more interested in buying a, a couple of powder foundations also because they last a lot longer than um liquid foundation so I'm, that's definitely the move for me right now <laughs> okay so out of these um i really like this one but i felt like this one was too matte sometimes um, but if you really like more of a matte, but you want some light coverage, I would recommend the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream for oily skin. Um, I think this is getting, this is old, even though I have the whole thing up. I didn't love it. I liked it. I didn't love it. I ended up mixing it with other things because of the fact that it is really, really matte. But if you want something like that, especially for the summertime, this will work for you, especially if you're extra, extra, extra oily. This is going to work for you. It made my skin super matte to the point where I didn't like it. And plus, right now, it's so separated. I tried to, like, open it and swatch it and see how it went. But it's just... I don't know. Let me let me do it again. Maybe now that it's actually a little bit more mixed, it'll work. Yeah, but I still don't love it. So I'm just going to keep... I'm going to keep it. I'm going to declutter it just because it's not something that I love. And I only want to keep things that I absolutely love or that I'm still testing. So that one's going to be... Oh, go out the way. Okay. And then out of these... I'm going to keep, actually, you know what? I'm going to keep these three because I absolutely love the Thrive Cosmetics 
Building Blur CC Cream. I really like that one. I wish it was a little bit shade lighter, but I still love it. I can still use just a little bit of it. And it'll, oh no, I think I might need to buy a new shade. This is really, really dark for me. Mm, yeah, I might have to buy a new shade. This is really dark for me, but I'm going to leave it until I do buy a new shade because I really do like this one. I just feel like it's way too deep for me. I mean, probably need to declutter it and buy a new one, unfortunately. And it's basically new. I've only had it for like less than a year. That sucks. This one's a good shade match. This is the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Bamboo 5.5. I'm going to keep that one and I'm going to keep my Pretty Fresh Tinted Moisturizer. They, these, be wary of these because... The primer I had to declutter and so I'm not sure how long these are actually going to last in your collection. But see this one? Yeah, this one's fine. So it might have been just been the primer. Um so yeah, it might have been just the primer right there. But I'm gonna keep these three I'm keeping this one until I can find a better shade match. Because I definitely want to replace it. So that's going to be a replacement because that one's just too deep. Um, I'm going to see if I can make it work. Maybe in the next shot my stash and see if I need to replace it. I'm not sure. But keep it up for now. And these two, I'm honestly going to... I like them. I don't love them. Um, because this one's too light and then this one's too a little too deep. But this one's definitely a lot cheaper to replace than this one is. And I'm not sure if I love that one. So I'm going to keep both of these on the chopping block and see how I feel. Maybe pull them into a shop my sash next month just to get a feel on these. And maybe if I need to go up a shade or maybe if I like mixing them, that could work also. That, that would be fine for me. Okay, but as of now, I'm keeping those two. Okay, um, I only have two stick foundations. I like the milk one. I just have to like make sure I don't put too much because then it can get a little cakey. Whereas this one, I mean, it's kind of the same thing. I don't feel like they're dupes for each other. They're completely different. Um, but now that I'm going to school, I would be able to use the Wet n Wild a little bit more. So I'm really excited about that. So for now, I think I'm going to keep both. Now, these three Flower Beauty, I'm going to get rid of two. And then the newest one that I purchased was Warm L4. Let me swatch them again. I'll against each other all again. Let's see how they look. Because, because I want to see which one would be actually be the better shade match. This is L4, just a lot more peachy. It's a little bit more peachy. They have really weird. This one's um, M2. They have the weirdest shade matches. I think M2 was the one I wanted to keep. But look at that. That is such a deep shade. Like, and then this one, I know that one's too deep for me. So this one's a lot more cool tone. Even if I mix them, uh, mm, I don't want to mix them. I'm gonna get rid of this one for sure. I don't want to mix them because look at that. That is not even the right color, near the right color for me. I'm gonna put. This one's way too peachy and way too dark. I already know that. Okay, I'm going to leave this one for now. It's going to be on the chopping block. But as soon as it goes on sale, this is another shade replacement that I'm going to need even though I thought I replaced it already, but obviously that did not work. So I might be putting that one on to try it. So I have three on my chopping block so far. Um, and then let's see, what do I have next? The rest of these, okay, out of these, of great, sh better shade matches I have. I love this one. This one works for me. The ColourPop um, Pretty Fresh Foundation. Love that. Oh, my beauty. Oh, my God. This is my baby. Um, I love this one, too. The Rare Beauty 210N. This actually works really well. Um, foundation match. And this one I thought I had ordered it to like initially, but now it actually works even better for me now than it did originally. Um, so I'm keeping those three. And then, let's see... I'm left with these. I do like how this one goes on. What shade? This is 7 medium. Let's look at the shade match because I really do like how this Charlotte Tilbury shade match is like really weird too but I'm not sure if I'm purchasing from them right now from her right now but I mean this is something that I wear during the summer anyway so this might be something that works. It looks a little deep for me to be honest but hold on where is it? I bet you if I put like this one a little bit of that. Well, just a little bit. Jeez Louise Janet. It could probably like lighten it up. Okay, that was a bad example, you guys. Hold on. 
Hold on, let me show you what it's meant to do. So, put a little bit of this, and then whatever is left on there is all I'm going to use. I probably might have used too much, but it does change the foundation consistency a little bit, just to let you know. Which is why I don't love using it, but I don't also hate it. That was a little bit too much. <laughs> Okay, um, I'm keeping the Charlotte Tilbury for now. Again, this is not a perfect foundation shade, but I do like it. I love how it looks on, so I'm going to keep it for now. And I don't think if... I mean, Logical Harmony says that it's, like, cruelty-free. She considers it cruelty-free, so... I'm not going to get rid of it either way because it's an expensive foundation. And then this one's my baby, too. But this is, again, a, like, a color... Well, in the, in the bottle, it looks too deep. But once I mix it out, it is pr still pretty pretty deep, but I somehow make it work. <laughs> I would actually need to go a couple of shades lighter. Maybe that's what I need to do. I love this one for now, though. I don't want to get rid of it because I absolutely love this foundation, but I feel like it's a little too deep for me right now. So maybe I'll replace it soon. I don't know. Chopping block. I'm going to keep this one because it is so light that I can really blend it out and it works out perfectly but this one is definitely has more coverage Ah, uh, makes me sad but like it's so dark so it's just kind of like oh yeah we'll talk about those in a second and then these oh the elf one i think the elf one is also a pretty good shade match right now yeah the elf one's actually pretty pretty decent right now but you know what i am going to keep this one because this one i can just mix with something else that's a little bit lighter and it'll work fine i'm keeping that one and yep okay then these two, let's see, okay, that is a shade, where is it, light tan, this one has kind of really, I think they added new shades, but again, not the best ones, so this is light tan, okay, I'm only going to keep medium beige, alrighty. These three are the ones that are truly on my chopping block, but I'm thinking that I'm going to keep them because I can use this as a mixing foundation for like the ones that are too deep. Let's see if that would work. Let's just do it really quick. Why not? And then this one's like super light. So maybe instead of buying new foundations, I can just like mix them. Like mix them up and make them. Oh yeah, I think that would work. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's gonna work well. So that's what I'm gonna do also with the Thrive Cosmetics and the Charlotte Tilbury. I'm gonna keep this one and you see how dewy that is? Oh yes. And then just make sure that this mixes into my skin and that's gonna work. This one's a little definitely more peachy, so maybe one day I will work. I mean obviously i will replace it because i've gone through this but as of right now i kind of just want to keep it and um use as much as i can up and yeah just gonna keep them instead of buying more replacement shades that i'm gonna have to use later i rather really just mix and match and become an artist with all this so that's what i'm gonna let me show you what i'm keeping for now okay so this one might still be on the chopping block the flower beauty one um it's not my favorite. It's a good one, but it's not my favorite. If that was the case, I would have the Ilia one because the Ilia has SPF, honestly, and it's not, um, it's not chemical. So I'd rather have that one. Okay, so these are all the, I kept most of my foundations, I'm not gonna lie. But, you know what, a couple that are on the chopping block, kind of looking at them now. Um, because I have so many of them. I'm going to keep the Flower Beauty on chopping block, the Wet n Wild on the chopping block, and then the Flower Be Illusion ones. These three are going to be on my chopping block just because of the color. Um, trust me, I love this one. I do. This one's also getting old. And then this one, I'm not sure how I feel about it again. So I'm just kind of retrying it, but I just wish I could find the right shade in this. That would make me so happy. And then everything else I'm going to keep. And let me show you what I... So I have... Let's see. I didn't give you the numbers for this one or the other ones, but I'll put them up at the screen at the end. 
Let's see, I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 23 foundations. So I decluttered four foundations, but with three on the chopping block. So I feel pretty good about that, to be honest. So yeah, I feel pretty satisfied with that. And then hopefully I will have one or two maybe done by the end of the year. That is the goal. Um, and yeah, we'll see what happens as the months progress. All right, let's move on to, oh wait. I never got to show you which ones I'm not keeping, you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so organized. Okay. These are the ones that I'm not. These are the ones that I'm going to declutter. They're not correct shade mats. These are much too dark. This one's just much too... Um, yeah, they're too dark. And then this one is also not, just not my favorite, to be honest. But I do love the, the finish of these. These are so, so nice. Especially if you layer like a little bit of a more luminous um, primer underneath this one. It looks so pretty. It's already like a more like a skin finish foundation matte. Oh, so beautiful. And these are just really, really good. Really beautiful, really natural finish. I love them, but it's just about getting the right shade and that would make me so happy. All right, guys, moving on to, um, what is this? Moving on to concealers. Let's go ahead and, you know, lay them out. the concealer declutter really quick because honestly I already know what I want what I don't want so this is going to be quick um the ones that I really wanted to concentrate on decluttering were going to be the ones that I had double shades of and those were my elf this um my elf camel hydrating and then this born to run one and then I have these here so this is the camel the one that I'm going to keep which is the shade light beige and then this other shade right here um, more peachy one is warm medium beige. So I'm not going to keep that one. It's really hard to shade match at first, um, surprisingly. And then the one that I'm going to keep right here that's kind of swatched out is light beige again from e.l.f. Really? They're both light beige? They're totally different light beiges too. And then the one that I'm going to declutter is medium peach. Okay, and then um, the one I'm going to keep for Born This Way is the shortbread. The one I'm going to declutter is golden beige. All the mediums. Okay, the rest of these I'm going to keep as of now. This I finally got the Oma one. So that's one of the ones that I bought for this six months. They're not all perfectly the same shade. I don't know if it's just you guys or me. Like um or everyone like not every concealer that you're going to own is going to be like the same shade it's kind of hard because it's brand to brand and changes um as you can see some are peachier some are a little bit more neutral some are lighter um but overall as as much as a variety as i have here like this one's a little bit more pinky but it has a little bit more peach they all actually work for my skin tone. I'm now obviously going to keep the corrector because that's in my stash. And so yeah, I'm gonna keep all these concealers. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 concealers as of right now. I only decluttered three, but my hope is that I'll be able to finish this enough to where by the end of the year where I can declutter this um, and then I can finish my project pan hopefully within six months because it's pretty sure it's getting older um because it, it doesn't have that much product anyway and then hopefully maybe pick out another one and just concentrate on finishing that so yeah that is my goal so don't delay it down slowly but i'm gonna have to work a little bit better at working on them because some of them are older um like this one's older except i like i love 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 this one the jouet one is a little bit older um these are a little bit older, but not too old. And I would say the ColourPop. These are like the oldest concealers in my collection. So these are the ones I'm going to have to work on really finishing this year. Um, or get them down as much as I can. But yeah. It took me forever to get a good match in the ColourPop one. And it's the Light 18, just in case you're wondering. Something close to me. I like sometimes... I don't mind them being like my skin tone or like a shade lighter. I don't usually go two shades lighter unless that's what I could find and I don't want to repurchase and keep exchanging. It's just a hassle. Um, but yeah, some of them are more difficult to find matches in than not. Which is why I love the Rare Beauty because if you buy the Rare Beauty, you just buy the matching concealer and like you're good to go. I love that. But anyways, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this second declutter video. And then next video I'm going to see, I'm going 
I'm going to attack, conquer. Conquering would be the blushes, but the next video is going to be um, probably bronzers and highlighters, depending on how long they are. And then if not, there'll be separate videos and then blushes, you know, eyeshadow palettes and then maybe my single like potted shadows, like uh, super shocks, glitters, all of that will probably be another one. Let me know what you guys want to see, please, as far as those go. I might record them, but I'm not sure if I'm going to post them. Just let me know about single shadows, lips and all that. All right, let's go. So again, I just decluttered these three. Somehow I forgot to record the outro. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And yeah, I'll see you guys on the next declutter. They'll be coming once a week. And we have a couple more videos. So stay tuned. I hope you're enjoying. I really like sprinkling my collection and kind of revive it, revitalize it. But I hope you guys enjoyed it, like I said. And um, take care. Have a good rest of your day. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.